Hey, Math 7 uh, students, this video might take a little longer. So this is our uh, one of the tougher ones or one of the more involved ones. So let's get started. We're going to do three examples. So you learned just on our last one how to take this and make an equation out of it where you had to select the equation. You know this is a supplementary because it fits along that straight line. So we need to take x plus 12 plus 100 plus x and set that equal to 180. Notice I don't need the parentheses in here because there's no number in front of this that's being distributed. So we can just eliminate those parentheses and go. If they have them there, you can eliminate from them. Then this next step you do not need to do, but I'm just showing it so you can kind of understand where things go. I like to group my terms. So I like this x term and this x term to be next to each other and then my numbers to be. So this step you don't have to do, but I just rewrote it so the two x's are next to each other and then the two numbers are next to each other. And x plus x would be 2x. 12 plus 100 would be 112 and that equals 180. Okay, so then we've done this before. How do you cancel a positive 112? Well, you would need to cancel that by adding a negative 112. But whatever we do to the one side of the equal sign, we need to do to the other. So we are going to subtract 112 from both sides. Okay, when we do this, these two will cancel, leaving me with a 2x left over on this side. And when I take 180 minus 112, I get 68. Now, next step, x is being multiplied by 2, and what's the opposite of multiply by 2? You might say it's divide by 2, but remember whatever we do on one side, we must do to the other. So we will divide by 2 on this side, we'll divide by 2 on this side, and we get x equals 34 left over. So that is how you do that one. All right, second one. Second problem right here, you'll notice that this is a complementary angle. So this right here and this right here are going to add up to 90 this time. You'll notice I just put the whole thing right there. So we have the x, I already put the two x terms right together there. We have the x plus 42 and the 3x right there all being added together. x plus 3x is 4x. Then how do I cancel out the positive 42? I add a negative 42. Whatever I do to that side, I do to this side. 90 plus negative 42 is 48. And then how do I get rid of the 4, which is being multiplied by the x? I divide by 4. Whatever I do to one side, I must do to the other side. When I divide both sides by 4, we get x equals 12. All right, one more. Let's go through one last one here. You'll remember this is a vertical angle problem here. So this one, we're going to have the 8x uh, plus 30 is equal to the 110. How do I cancel out a positive 30? Add a negative 30. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. So what's 110 plus negative 30? Well, that would be 80. Okay, so I have 8x equals 80. Now, how do I get rid of the 8? That's being multiplied by the x. I divide by 8. But whatever I do to one side, I do to the other side. Divide both sides by 8, and I get x equals 10. So that's how you do those type of equations. If you need me to check your answers on Google Hangouts, I'm happy to do it. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.